Hello once again. This is the part 2 of the lesson planning. So this time I will be giving example of a learning procedure in 7E's format. Remember we have two formats that we need to follow. The first format is 7E's format and the second one is a 5A's format. 7E's format is the one that we use in conventional teaching in classroom teaching. So I will be incorporating this format, the 7 is format, in the teaching of ecological interaction, which, which only focus, we will limit only the topic in two to the four basic ecological interactions. We have mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, and predation. So in the lesson plan, we have the we have two columns for the learning procedure and the teacher's methodology and student activities. So the first E is elicit. So the teacher will show four pictures in which there are interacting organisms. The teacher will ask the students to describe what they observe in the following pictures. So the pictures are as follows. We have... The bee is extracting and feeding on the nectar from the flower of the plant. So this is the possible response, response of the student. The clownfish is inhabiting on the surface of sea animals. Third picture, the female mosquito feeds on the blood of a human. And four, the grizzly bear is feeding on the salmon fish. So on the illicit, we will just use the previous knowledge of the students. We will just ask them, we will just let them to describe what is in the picture. So the strategy that I use is pictorial analysis. So they analyze the picture. They describe the, what is in the picture. That's, that's the purpose of the illicit. Letter B, the engage. So the teacher will present a die. So in this classroom session, I will create a die. It has six phases, two phases of each for plus plus, plus minus, or plus zero. So using the picture in the illicit stage, the four one here, we have the this four, we have the uh, flower and the bee, clownfish and the sea animals, human and the mosquito, the grizzly bear and the salmon fish. So using those pictures, the students will describe the picture as plus plus if both organisms benefit with, with each other. Plus minus when one organism benefits and the other is harmed. Plus zero when one organism benefits and the other is neither affected nor harmed. So they will answer he, they will answer the teacher or they will respond to the teacher using plus plus for this, plus zero, plus minus, and plus minus. So you can see now you can see how the lesson progressed. So from description and now we analyze them from from plus 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 minus or plus zero we are now trying to engage them next for explore so using the pictures below describe the different pictures and determine if the examples have plus 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 minus plus zero in this part you will now try to apply their knowledge uh from the engaged stage by this or in this phase you will going to uh, expand what or you are now trying to uh, develop mastery of your plus 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 minus or plus zero or analytical skills you are now trying to improve your analysis for example this one so they will describe it this is the possible description, and this is the answer, plus minus. So the alga, the pot, it, 
produces food via photosynthesis, while the lichen, the composite fungi or fungus, depends its own food to the alga. So the lichen is the parasite of alga. This one. A bird feeds on the leftover foods on the teeth of an alligator. The answer is plus zero. Plus four, the alligator. I know, plus four, the bird. Zero for alligator. Actually, this is one of the misconceptions in biology. Most references, they refer to it as plus plus. But actually, it's plus zero. Why? Because only the bird is benefited in this interaction. Why? Because the alligator, it doesn't. Uh, it is not necessary for it to remove the excess food, because alligator or and crocodile they are polypidont. When we say polypidont. They uh they replace their teeth more than twice, so it doesn't matter to them if they have excess food on their teeth. It does not matter to them because they can replace their teeth, same as shark. So they are polyphidon. So only the one that benefits in this interaction is the bird, but for alligator. Uh, they don't benefit on this. They are not affected and they are not harmed. Okay, this one. Of course, it's plus minus. Or they will describe it. As to me, the worm is covered with cocoons. Pupating. Uh, the cocoons pupating here. So these wasps are... Uh, are the parasite of these hornworms. Next, this is plus plus. Butterfly feeds on the nectar of the flower. This is plus minus. This is plus minus. Zebra is attacked by a mountain lion. This is plus zero. A school of pilot fish. A group of fish is called at school. Or is it trivia? A school of a group of fish, you call it as school, swims with a shark, so plus minus. This pilot fish, this pilot fish uh, benefits on interacting with the shark, but the shark is not affected nor destroyed uh, or harmed, rather. Now, for the explain. So it can be done simultaneously or after the discussion. So the teacher will discuss the pictures presented in the explore stage. So it can be uh, the teacher let the student first to identify if it's plus minus or plus plus or plus zero. And then after, they will process it. Why is it plus plus? Why is it plus minus? Why is it plus zero? But the teacher can also have picture explanation, picture explanation. So in that way, the explore and explain is coupled. So it's up to the teacher whether he or she wanted to have it answered it first by the student and then process it after for the explanation phase or stage. Or the teacher can decide the explore, ex uh, the picture, explain, picture, explain. So it's up to the teacher. So in this stage, the teacher now will present and differentiate the term mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, and predation. This is the time that the teacher explain the actual concept, present the actual concept to the class. Now for elaborate, so after explaining the concepts, after classifying the organisms presented in the explorer, now in the elaborate, the teacher will provide a table that has column headers, mutualism, commensalism, parasitism, predation. So the student will now provide their own examples in class. So aside from what is presented, the 
students may now provide their own example so they can look uh, on books or by internet for the example so it's up to the teacher next for evaluation is for evaluate evaluate stage okay so in a one four sheet of paper the students will identify what type of ecological relationship depicts in the following pictures so one two three four five now in lesson plan make sure you have your keto correction so whenever you share your lesson plan to your co-teachers classmates they have the answer so i advise that the formative test should only be five to ten items later i'll discuss that we uh, more and for the extent we serve as the assignment of the students so the teacher and uh, the students should watch this video by accessing the provided link this one they just can copy the link and paste it on their browser and watch this video they should answer the guide questions for their assignment so again do not forget to provide uh, guide questions for your students so that they will know what to focus in the video they know the information that they need to retrieve from the video so before you leave your class uh, present first the guide questions so when they do it at home they know where to focus and they know what information that they should present for the next meeting so now for the references of this of the pictures that i use please refer to the references at the end of this presentation now what if you have now five A's format you're now going to teach via online so i'll just you know what i did i just copy only the what i have placed in the seven is format so for example in other so this start still the picture diba? now but for us i combine the component of this is the part of this one these are the part of the illicit stage the back today should be aha uh -huh, sorry for typographical error so is actually the part of the illicit stage earlier so it becomes now the Mm. as stage but the as stage is a combination of kanina we have the we have the engage and explore so i combine the engage and the explore for the as so meaning the as stage is a combination of the engage and explore okay so this is the engage and explore under as stage now for the assimilate now the assimilate is the combination of the explain stage plus the elaborate stage so by that after you explain what you have presented in the as stage the student will be able to assimilate the information you will be able to process the information they will be able to apply the information they absorb and they, they apply so this is for the explain and this is for the elaboration so but for the five A's format they are under the assimilate stage now for the evaluate that's equivalent to assess also don't forget the k2 correction for advance this is the equivalent of the extend for the for the assignment 
Now, these are the tips eh, on designing objective items for assessment or formative assessment. So, for formative assessment, it is given at the end of the during session or an instructional period. This is done to assess students' conceptual change along or after the instructional period. The teacher may give 5 to 10 item tests only as a way to, read, to check the student's conceptual understanding. So, 5 to 10. So, in my case, I only use 5. Because in, in the Department of Education schools, the uh, DepEd schools, we only have 15 minutes or 1 hour for science. So, we have to maximize the time. Formative assessment vary in terms of the types of test items. Some teachers use identification. So, in my case, I use identification, multiple choice, or matching type. Now, some other teachers use performance tasks in lieu or in replacement of objective tests. And these are some tips only. So, some teachers do not just rely on objective tests. Some teachers mode add or replace the subjective test with performance tests or performance tasks. Performance tasks is used to measure or capture the student's learning that translates into that translate into actions or outputs. In giving performance tasks, a rubric, this is very important, a rubric which contains quality criteria to assess the output or actions must be given to the students ahead of time so they will be so they will know how they will be graded so they will know how they will be graded evaluated and or assess so now for the task of this module you teachers are tasks to create two versions of lesson plan, the five E's and seven E's. So using the assigned topics from module one that I have given you, you have to create two versions of lesson plan following the seven E's and five A's. So See me if you have questions for consultation of your lesson plan. So these are my references and the web links where I get the video. So I retrieved the video this September 28, 2020. That's all. And for the copy of the this module, you can email me. So the title of this module is The Arts of Science Teaching Methods, Approaches, and Strategies in the Teaching of 21st Century Learners. That's all. Thank you.